Top 10 Luxury Supercars in the World Most patrol heads dream of supercars when growing up, but if you've done well enough for yourself, which one should you buy? There's an incredible amount of choice on the market these days, and although a great deal of the available options are turbocharged. Our list of the best supercars on sale contains a real mix of exotics, not just in terms of engine configurations but also differing levels of luxury, wildly contrasting looks and a variety of manufacturers responsible for them. 1. Ferrari 296 GTB The Ferrari 296 GTB is proof that plug-in hybrids don't have to be boring, and the electric technology in this car bodes well for Ferrari's upcoming fully electric car due to arrive in 2025. The 296 GTB packs a 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine paired with a 7.45 kWh battery and electric motor, which combine to produce a staggering 819 bhp. The transition between electric and petrol power in the 296 GTB is seamless, thanks to Ferrari's clutch-based setup which allows the V6 to get to work smoothly. And once the combustion engine kicks in, its howling exhaust note sounds great. You'll also get a range of roughly 16 miles from the electric motor when you don't want to attract as much attention. Better still, the Ferrari handles with incredible poise and precision, making it a car you'll always want to take the long way home in. 2. Porsche 911 GT3 RS Not everyone considers the Porsche 911 the a supercar, but there's a strong argument for the iconic German sports car being thusly described in GT3 RS form. So, while 518 bhp is quite modest as far as modern supercars go, the 911 GT3 RS is able to get round a track mind-bendingly quickly. On the aero front, there are two underbody flaps, massive side skirts and an active rear wing of epic proportions. The latter includes a DRS, drag reduction system, so it doesn't hold the car back too much on the straights. With the DRS switched off, you're looking at a whopping 860 kg of downforce. This is backed up by sophisticated suspension setup which can be remotely adjusted from the cabin for bump and rebound. This is one of the closest things you can buy to a racing car for the road. 3. Ferrari F8 Tributo Anyone who is concerned about the turbocharged F8 Tributo not being much of a step on from its 488 predecessor can rest easy. No, it doesn't sound as magnificent as a naturally aspirated 458 Italia at full steam, but it still sounds more than good enough for a Ferrari. And in all other aspects the F8 Tributo is utterly sensational to drive, on road or track, and in the simplest of terms is also insanely fast. The best just got better, thanks to a lot of goodness from the hardcore 488 Pista. That's one heck of a combination of talents to install under just one roof. Bottom line, the F8 Tributo might be turbocharged and mightn't sound as spine tingling as before, but in all other aspects it represents yet another giant leap forwards for Ferrari. 4. Lamborghini Huracan Technica. There simply has to be a Lamborghini in a list like this, and the Italian brand is just the thing. It's the Huracan Technica, which is broadly the same under the skin as the Extreme STO, but without the wild array of aerodynamic pieces and with slightly softer suspension. So, it's easier to live with and, slightly, more subtle to look at. But don't be fooled by the marginally toned down appearance, it's still a seriously potent car. Power is unchanged at 631 bhp giving a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 3.2 seconds and a top speed of 201 miles per hour, delivered by a brilliant sounding V10 that revs to 8,700 revolutions per minute. Its ferocious straight line performance goes well with the firm chassis and the rear wheel steering system, which increases agility at lower speeds and stability when the car is going faster. Lamborghini really has saved the best until last with the Huracan. 5. McLaren Artura. The Artura, McLaren's first full-production plug-in hybrid, got off to a shaky start in life. The launch was delayed significantly, and many publications, Auto Express included, experienced technical issues when finally able to drive the car. However, we've driven it more recently in the UK, and McLaren seems to have ironed out the bugs, letting us concentrate on what an exceptional supercar the Artura is. It's breathtakingly fast, then, hitting 62 miles per hour in 3 seconds dead, which is two tenths faster than the seminal McLaren F1. The top speed is 205 miles per hour and although the engine is perhaps lacking a little character, there's no doubting its potency. Meanwhile, McLaren has strived to keep the car feeling as analog as possible. There's no regenerative braking system, so the brake pedal still feels very natural, and the power steering is one of the few remaining hydraulic setups out there, providing amazing feedback. Finally, 
it's light for a FEV, tipping the scales at a very reasonable 1,498 kg. 6. Ferrari 812, Superfast and GTS. The 812 GTS Spider drops the eponymous Superfast name, and adds an open roof experience for drivers wanting a blisteringly quick, front-engined, rear-wheel drive supercar. Not only that, but the 812 is more comfortable, more luxurious and more civilized than the old F12. The 6.5-liter V12 engine produces 789 bhp and will charge forward until it tops out at 211 miles per hour. Changing gear is taken care of with a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox, which has shorter gearing and faster shifts than its predecessor. To add to the overhaul, the curb weight has been reduced by 60 kilograms. However, the 812 is not intended to be a lightweight track car, as proven by the tires which come with the car, Pirelli P0s. So while the Superfast is still a supercar, it has definitely been designed for the road. 7. Maserati MC20 The MC20 marks Italian carmaker Maserati's return to the supercar market, the first since the MC12 of the early 2000s. Maserati's supercar certainly has a sense of occasion, while its jaw-dropping design never fails to attract attention. Its beauty is more than skin deep, though, because it drives even better than it looks. While the MC20's engine note isn't hugely dramatic, the performance it delivers is. Maserati's supercar uses a 3.0 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that produces 621 bhp to propel it from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. It's also precise, delicate, and agile to drive, despite its suspension also offering a surprisingly forgiving ride in the softest of its three settings. The interior is also balanced enough that it delivers the road-going racer experience while still providing a decent level of comfort. 8. Audi R8 Performance RWD The latest version of the Audi R8 looks a lot like the last one at first glance, but there's a myriad of new tech, and performance is better than ever. The most obvious difference if you're planning to buy Audi's everyday supercar is the current lack of a V8 option. Nowadays you've got a choice between the 568bhp or 611bhp versions of the noisy V10 that is shared with the Lamborghini Huracan. There's no manual option, but the twin-clutch automated gearbox offers super quick shifts when you've got the hammer down, and utterly seamless ones when you don't. The Quattro all-wheel drive system is updated too, and offers incredible levels of grip and balance with a torque split system that can send 100% to the front or rear on demand. However, our choice would be the new 568 bhp performance RWD which, as the name implies, ditches power to the front wheels entirely to save weight and increase driver engagement. 9. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 plus 304 miles per hour. The Chiron Supersport 300 plus bodywork has been extended and aerodynamically optimized for extremely high speed performance. Air curtains located at the corners of the front bumper and air outlets on the front wheel housings release excess pressure, generating slight downforce and reducing resistance. The new rear design is also sure to turn heads. The so-called lawn tail extends the body 25 centimeters. 10. Bugatti Chiron 261 miles per hour. The 2022 Chiron isn't only the ultimate Bugatti, it's the ultimate car. Period. This $3 million work of art is capable of pummeling the pavement at over 200 miles per hour. Thanks to a 16-cylinder engine that features four turbochargers and cranks out at least 1,500 horsepower, the more expensive Super Sport model is even more powerful. The Chiron's cabin is just as artfully designed as its exterior, and it coddles occupants in fine materials that help justify its price tag. But let's be honest. If you find this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.